Hey, 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 hey! Well, good afternoon, good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching the show. I hear. I know it. We are right here now. in um, back to rainy old England. Oh, what a day! Summer is officially over, guys. We uh, oh. it's absolutely poured it down all, all day. day, all day, from start to now. Absolutely. Good. How are you guys? Say uh, hello to everybody over on Facebook Ooh, and hello to everybody on yes. YouTube. Hello, fans of Mr. Q. Um, if you are watching from Facebook, get yourself over to YouTube and yeah, you can always, to be. Yeah, you can All always the cool get yourself over to here. subscribe and get Ooh, the notification bell on. I know. <laughs> In the ear. I like that, actually. You know what? Oh. We'll do it again. There it is. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you get over there and subscribe and get the notification bell on. It means that you will not miss any uh, videos or any unscheduled posts that we might just go out there uh, randomly. You never know. Um, thank you. Know. Oh, look, we've got, we've got everybody in there. And we've What's got everybody flowers? over there as well. Hey, V. Hello, Will. We've got Canada. We've got um, the Caribbean as well. Ooh. And also from Nottingham. <laughs> Hello there, guys. Hello there as well. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Pretty cool. Lagos. Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> we just Lagos. The same time. So first of all, guys, I hope you've got oh, yourself yeah. a cuppa. So cheers, first of all. It's important. I have. Cheers indeed. Yes. Um What have yeah. you got? What are we doing this week? Well, we do in we we're, we're gonna build a balloon wall. Sunny Jim Jam- so, sorry. Sunny Jamaica. I know a sunny Jamaica over there. One from, and Jamaica, then we've got two, Colorado. Sunny. We've got Nebraska over here as well on Facebook. Uh, it really is international. Is it just a cuppa? Yes, a shawnee. Yes, a shawnee. It's it is a warm, indeed. Should have been cocoa. It is a it is a, a cup of tea. Colombia cocoa well. with some marshmallows. Colombia. Uh, so uh, yeah, hola. Uh, yes. What I was saying <laughs> before I re-interrupted you was, what have we been up to today? Well, today we've actually been building a wall yeah. out of balloons. Would you believe it or not? Um, just fact, moved over from Facebook. Welcome, Pam. There we go, Pam. If you want as well, if place. you haven't subscribed, you might as well do yourself a favour and subscribe. And get the notification bell on Ow. there as well. And Belgium am as I, well. Am I... Hello, Luke. Don't be going banging your head at all. Right, okay. So we have been building a wall. Um, in fact, it's this wall that's on the picture behind. We updated... I don't know if you noticed. This is a real wall. Yeah. We updated the, um, the picture in the background for the... Uh, for the video, we the did. thumbnail for the video, <laughs> with this version on here. The original version was from uh, a wall that we built uh, over in Ghana earlier on in the year. Oh, there's Reese's mom technique. as well. There's yes. Reese's mom. Yes. Yes. Uh, hello. Hashtag Reese's mom. So, um, you don't know, know what that's that. about, people. Check out the convention. <laughs> <laughs> Love the colours of the wall, yes. Inspired by a rainbow pattern. In fact, what we did was, um, oh, before we go onto the wall side, we might as well, we'll see what we as well. We'll drag straight in. I know, I know, it is. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, I'll tell you, it's all right. It's still International Balloon oh, yeah, wow. Month as well, so you can still get out there and get the hashtag, hashtag International Balloon Month um, for the use with Qualitex. Uh, that would be fantastic. What's that other thing that's going on you were telling me about and we just saw yesterday but I didn't have time to read yet? Yes, I know. It meant to get put it into the show, but we've it's that packed full that we didn't get on there. What it is is that uh, it's a new thing. If you get yourself over onto Qualitex, what they're doing is... Qualitex the, where? Qualitex.com because you ah, can't go wrong with Qualitex.com. When you get yourself over there, they're actually starting to do these new kind of, they're almost like spotlights, but it's a bit of a story about the people in the industry, and it's from around the world, and the first one is in Lebanon, Yeah. Uh, and it was released yesterday, and if you get yourself over there, it's a good read, and there's some nice pictures as well, um, from... It's it's talking to different people within that market. Yeah, um, which is pretty decorators cool. Decorators, it's it a good feel for it. And things. Well, Lebanon was a very so, cool place. Yeah, absolutely. So get yourself over there and have a read. Um, there's also it's got some upcoming ones, including uh, South, South Africa. Africa. Um, where else? When we were Singapore to on there as well, and China. Um, so it's going to be. It's going to be really uh, interesting to find out what's going on in these different markets yep. around the world and find out uh, if it's different from you guys, the same as you guys, whatever. Um, but it's always nice to find out, right? Great time um, to connect as well, while we still can't uh, 
go anywhere. Yes, absolutely. So, um, right, okay, so the wall that we built, so the picture of the wall that was on Where's the picture? There. there it is. There we go. Um, in fact, the wall kind of ended up like that. That's the one. That is the one. Um, so what we want to do is we wanted to show you a little bit about how this wall was made. Yeah, kind of start to finish. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's stuff we've done before. We were doing a new backdrop for in our store. We were partitioning it off and we've had different ones up. And we wanted to do something that was um, just really bright and colourful and uh, kind of put that positive, nice vibes out to our passing customers. So that's what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So we set about with what sort of style and theme and we didn't want to go there's a lot of being like the normal traditional rainbows and everything like that so we thought we'd take the inspiration from a rainbow and then um take it uh into a wall yeah uh, and a bit more geometrical as well so it's got the geometric and the rainbow yeah. going on and we um use the qualitex rainbow foil yes. as a a kind of a a color board if you like to give us the the colors that we're going to work yeah. with because yeah. you know why do the work yourself <laughs> It's yeah. all there for us. Uh, also, as well as um, in the YouTube chat, uh, Ishani has just put a tag straight on to um, that news um, for the that new the latest article on there. Thank you, Ishani. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Ish. Um, okay, so what we did was we wanted to design something. So um, you could just get your pen and paper out and go, or you could get your balloons out and start inflating. There's also different style walls that you could do as yeah. well. There's just different types of builds. You know, we do a lot of quick link walls. Um, we do um, uh, just different versions. And we wanted to do this one. It's using 11 inch balloons. We, we like the look and, and the way it locks together and has that yeah. fullness to it. So this is using alternate square pack. So actually, it's, it's columns. So what we also did is, uh, we have a subscription to a service I'm gonna um, which you have a link to I right do. Dom? I have a link. Um, we have a subscription to Chris Adamo's Bloom Pro tool um, his design tool Will that go up on there yeah there you, you go. go across there oh, there it is Good um, which has a really long web address which fits all the way along Straight there. to the point um, and this is what we use to do a lot of our designing for quick link builds um, also arches and various other things Great. Um, but we, we well, use different to design ones there, but this one works really well for we used to do it via um, Photoshop but mm. it takes a lot longer um, this one calculates all of your quick, products and everything as well um, and we made this wall you can just lay down there for a moment Dom. Um, Oh, unless you want to make a big skull, you want to do it big all the way across the front. Oh, what the picture? Yeah. Oh, and then here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go big. Look at that. Go big or go home. Um. So, uh, yeah. This is the, um. This is what we created on Chris's tool, which works out, um, really nice. Thing is, if you were to, uh, kind of uh, approach this using uh, a photo editing software, it would take quite a bit of time to do. If you were to approach it using kind of building blocks using kind of clip art bits in publisher still take you yeah i mean there's, there's lots of do. people that do yeah. it in different ways using powerpoint and, and there's nothing wrong with it the output the end result is fantastic in fact if you go back to the q corner convention um chris did a piece on different softwares for designing stuff and it worked out really nicely so um, the, um, but we like this because it's simple Luis Carlos did a yeah, one Luis with Carlos uh, using PowerPoint. PowerPoint, which is a really good way yeah. as well. So, you know, if you've got and lots of people have access to this software already. So, you know, it's uh, it's out there and you can use it. Um, so what we did with there is that we built the wall together. And then what we can do is with a simple click on the tool, we can actually split it up. So now you can see this is the magic of the tool. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you is... can see it separately um, of the the columns each individual column now we yeah can see that because you get a really good visualization columns. for the end result and you get a very good visualization if you want to share that with a customer but what it's not giving you is a really easy straightforward build um it, it you kind of you lose where the column is sometimes so having it broken out like that the tool does a fantastic job of that and although we ended up making this wall with it we were playing about with the design tool and if we wanted to make it bigger um, we could actually just carry on going with the design tool and make this um, like really huge into a full of the diamond pattern. But it um, kind of worked the other way, really, did it? We, yeah. we decided oh, we like the diamonds with the kind of rainbow diamond effect. That's what we were going for. And then to scale, it would be too big for 
its application so we use the tool to then chop off the bottom bit and give us the yeah the, the top part which was absolutely perfect it's so versatile that way it uh, it worked really well yeah so um so again we took it down we brought it down into that sort of size then what we did was we split it up and we made it into columns um you're right cam you're right you're gonna have one of them are we we are hey that's for you cam there we go um and then um we built it and created our wall so what we're going to do is we've done a very quick time lapse version we didn't oh why did you say that no we, we just worked really hard really fast and built it we had a, a time lapse um of the build that we did earlier today and we're going to share it with you um and also i would also like you to check out who has the most coffee breaks in this one all right how do you so, work the thirsty you get That's okay all I'm, well, I'm just say. saying who has the most coffee how do you so, work Dom, can you the thirsty you get cue that up i can if you want me to i would really like you to i would also make sure that there's, that we've got sound on we it have. as well we have okay it's let's worth listening to yeah are we ready yes they are ready let's uh watch Here this goes. make it in real time There you go, guys. Wow, we worked hard. We did. Oh, did you notice who had the most uh, uh, cup buns? As we go, hardest though. Yeah, uh, I know there was. Um, there's been a mention there about um, having more balloon mark type images. I don't know if you caught the very first um, webinar with Luke Bertrand. He did that uh, and produced a lot of images on that way as well. So if you had signed up for that, you would have gotten all of those images as part of the webinar. Um, yeah just to answer on that question and if you haven't been Facebook. part of the webinars why not there's more to come check out qualitex.com events okay then yes. somebody did the thing on there so we get apparently we get some golden nuggets Yay. because they, they absolutely love those colors so uh yeah we absolutely uh love doing it as well it's a really nice effect and um of it course is. it looks uh, wonderful afterwards too it really does um we ha had a bit of a play around with the sizing on that as well for yeah. um the the sizes that we normally do it to we actually shrunk it down just a little bit just because normally it the... we would use nines and seven nine um in 11 inch size to nine inch and 11 inch size to seven inches um but it was going to make it too tall for the area that we were filming in we um, shrunk it down and for where the the where it was actually going in our window at the end but if you wanted to build that yourself though and the size and where would you get those sizes from though well actually um because if I'm we gonna, spent I'm all that time on to here because um i'm going to get rid of that and i'm going to put this on here so here are the sizes that you that we use here and it tells you I'm about what full screen for a second okay. so everyone's got the yeah. so it says the difference in size between the two sets is relative to the size of the balloon used so you can see there it depend on how much the the largest one you're inflating it to the 
um, the so if we inflate into nine inches for instance it says there use a two inch differential that means that the next one should be seven inches um, the, and that's the easiest way to do it now the way that where we got this from was actually from our friend sue baller on the sure, very best balloon blog well um, this is actually um, one of the first well, very early blog, yeah was a it? very very first blog that she wrote up i think it was the second one or something i was back in 2012 anyway um and we use this um uh, we use this a lot. It's a, it's it's a gold mine. Yeah, right? it's, it really it is, is. You know, it is an absolute gold we, mine of them. You've got that um, differential that we use, so we wanted to create another size. So yeah. we just looked at the size we wanted, saw which bracket it fitted into, then apply that differential. Yes. So All what we did for done. this one is actually instead of using um, instead of using nine inches and seven inches, we actually used eight inches and six inches for that wall build yeah. just to make it. A the link that we're sharing now as well will take you straight to that particular one. If you're struggling with the link because they are quite long links for the blogs, if you just search into Google for the yeah. very best balloon blog, you'll see it there. Make sure you bookmark it because there's some really good reads there, um, fresh stuff coming out all the time, but also some absolute gold there still in the archive of the blog and just have a search th through as well um, there's a search tool at the site absolutely so the absolutely so you'll find it um, if you also want to see another video tutorial on how to create something like that we also have a link for this next one you got it there Dom? we do yes so um, this yeah. is from um, balloon images magazine yeah so you get yourself over to the Chris Adamo show no. <laughs> uh, where we find that you can't go wrong with uh, uh, Qualitex.com and get yourself over the magazines the balloon images and in issue two um, yeah. there is a link to um, there's a duplet square pack but also if you go into the more contents thank you, you Evie as well sharing that link there as well fantastic for the uh, the very best balloon blog but yes um, the wonderful Mr Adamo there did a couple of cool videos on that images magazine uh, there's a cool question and answer on there as well um, but this is a cool, and I, I like the technique of the wheels on there. Yeah, there's a question. Uh, I'm going to pop up one here, and I'm going to see if I can get it to go find one it. One here. Uh, that one. But yes, cool techniques there. And it's all air filled as well. Yeah, I was just trying to do that on That's there, but it's, I think it's running a bit behind on there. It's uh, running the, a bit slow. When the Facebook ones pop up on here, oh, where am I, why am I not seeing any Facebook ones? Sure, but you might just be Barry Keith. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Um, so there was a question about the software that we used. Um, the software that we used was Chris Adamo's. If you get yourself over to balloonpro.co, um, that will help. Uh, there's a video on the Qualitex YouTube It's a subscription well. based. I think you can pay monthly or for the year. Did it come on? No. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, absolute value for money. It is, it really absolutely. Is. Yeah, um, yeah. It takes, I mean, you get your, your subscription back on one or two jobs, depending on the size of the job. The so visualisation, though, and how yeah. much time you save, that's mm -hmm. what I love. It's unreal. Um, and the what what I particularly like about it now, because it never used to, and he's really put a lot of uh, work into it, is the fact that you can save something yes. and then come back to it. So if you're doing something for a customer, a client, you can amend it and go back to them with a you know a new render for them as well so um i think that's really really good yes so what we want to do is um you saw the fast version of it we thought we would go over just a couple of the techniques that we used yeah um, but rather than using the big ones we're going to show you we're using some smaller ones um that hopefully dom has i do i remember to bring them in from the uh, Perfect. studio there we go let me get the I'm trying to move this over this way a little bit so you've got more space. Oh, look, we've got Robin's Head Blue, one of our favourite colours. Oh, I think we're going to have to zoom out a little bit because I just realised that... that oh, 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 oh. OK, we can do that. We go, yes. Yeah, and we're using uh, Goldenrod as well. <laughs> so Robin's Egg Blue and Goldenrod. And the sizes that we sized these two were uh, four inches on the Robin's Egg Blue and three and a half inches on the Goldenrod. I think my and hands are short. So because we went for this size and here you can see that it's a half inch differential because it falls under that that first bracket on there so that's why we're using that half inch dif dis uh, differential from sue's blog that we got on the size and you like that word differential differential yeah it is uh so what we're going to do is uh, uh we've got some dacron line um we prefer to use dacron line with this because it's a braided line um it doesn't stretch 
uh, it takes care of the balloons and it's it better than tying net to a net. smooth finish as well it'll run through the balloons a lot better as well so I'm just doing a permanent knot so the first one is a simple knot and the second one is goes through once and then twice and then pull it down and it means it'll only tighten it won't loosen so that gives us our first uh, cluster of four and then we take our neck size and that pushes down don't want to push down really hard but just push down firmly and go down one side and up down the opposite side and up and that's a figure of eight i think that's always a, the, the most common mistake we see is the first one that's yeah. too tight because you're so used to doing a base you yes know, two layers that you you need to do that for you, you do that by you know autopilot and um, but you need to have that even consistent pressure all the way pushing down a little bit so it's firm and then that figure of eight up it goes and then we'll do the next one and there was one more set of blue should have one more set of blue oh maybe maybe it's better the definitely is well this is solid already okay i mean just keep going for as long as you want right it's just making garland it's very simple and then we've got one more set of four okay we did not matter so if we were carry on until we get to the top leave a little bit chop the um chop the end off and then you're going to want to make sure that doesn't come undone and the way that we do it is we hold it i hold a loop i take it back under two of them so one whoop, come on under one and two and pull it through the loop that you created and gently don't pull it tight but yeah. gently pull it up like this uh somebody's asking then what type of line is it the line is a dacron line it's a braided line okay it's a braided line um i know chris adamo uses venetian blind cord on but it's a thicker one yeah. um this one is a braided line um people use it for making nets um they do it for hand hand lining for for um for fishing when they're doing crab nets and things like that it's it's yeah, just it's, super it's strong pretty common yeah. product to get a hold of so um yeah so <coughs> we need more of these done we do we have more that's handy well look here's some we prepared earlier you think we knew yeah so you can see the first one there it starts with a um the larger then it goes smaller larger smaller larger and then the next one needs to be the opposite so smaller larger smaller larger smaller and the way that it should work is with the sizing that they should mesh in close together and nice and firm up like this that's how you know you got your sizing right and then the next one goes into there and we can create our wall um in this way well you know, the you can... actual wall we built yeah. in full scale doesn't have any weights in it doesn't have any base plates and poles in it and it's it's rigid enough to pick up with just two hands yeah. and it will actually stand on the floor without falling over obviously that's not ideal in any given situation because a, a bit of a breeze or something's going to make it go over but it does stand testament to how well the this the technique is yeah it's especially with the the dacron it doesn't stretch if you tie these neck to neck they would stretch things would move out it of the way it's too easily yeah it, you use use the dacron use and the if dacron, you don't get that differential right correct that's also where the um the distortion is going to happen yeah. as well as you bring things together now there, there are a few different ways of connecting these together if you go on the blog you'll see that sue uses the technique of um the paper clip the paper clip and an elastic band a rubber band in between um which is absolutely great that's fine and then when you see um you'll see chris's video and chris uses a 260q that he pulls in between it's all down to personal preference yeah. as you get more experience with it it's whichever is the most efficient yeah for you. as you get more experience you usually find that the 260q method is a bit faster however when you start off the um the using the rubber band method and the two paper clips you get perfect the, 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 the thing is with, the, with is that perfect. particular method um I, I would say it takes a little bit longer some people may argue because they're so good at it yeah. they're faster at it um but and you've got the extra product but you're guaranteed a fantastic result yes you're guaranteed that even pressure when you're working in big teams and things and you need a lot of them put together the paperclip one means that everybody puts exactly the same pressure yeah whereas with a 260q you'll notice when uh, we were making the video dom did all of the tying in together so that he meant he kept the same amount of pressure 
all the way through the entire line. It's the same line. way that you put all the clusters onto the line yes. because it, it's very hard to gauge pressure. Sizing we can do, that, that that's a, a given thing we can measure, yes. but pressure is very hard. So to, to do it between two people, you'd end up with columns all different heights. And it's not that there's anything wrong with one of them or the other one. It's just it's, it's, just it's different. subtly different. Yeah. So it gives you some issues to work around. So that's why the paperclip method is an absolute winner, hands down. Yeah, absolutely. You get it perfect every yeah. time. Um, well, with a bit of practice. Well, with the 260Q, what we can do is go into the second cluster down. And I'm just going to wrap it in a figure of eight, first of all around a couple of the balloons to get a connection and now I have a stretchy band that comes out in between the balloons like this yeah, you see that and then I come into the next one and I try and keep a consistent pressure and I'm going to come on through take it round one and then continue so in it goes to there making sure that it sits in nice and tight and it's and not then, worrying too much about what the bottom is going to be doing because we're going to fix that as you work down with yeah. the connections. Again, sometimes it's easy to get, get distracted trying to fix everything as you go. You can't because with the tension on the top, it's going to blow the bottom out. It's going to blow the bottom Yeah, that's normal. So, so that's for the bottom, resolved now. I'm using this 260Q. I'm pulling the air out. So I nip the tip, pull the air out towards the open end and tie that off. I'm going to flip this over because it'll be easy at the desk, I think. So it's a stretchy, so it becomes a stretchy band. And then down it goes. And then again, we'll do that figure a bit to get it connected in. And then in, pull the tension in, wrap it round once. Round it goes. Do my figure of it. Yeah. And then it's like that. So mini wall. yeah, you have like a, a mini wall going on and it doesn't matter if this was taller, you obviously spread your tension out across the whole thing on the one that we did, which was a little bit taller than we were. We used three bands to keep it. If it was much taller, we would use four bands and go across to keep that tension. It's always thinking top and bottom as you go to, then how many do you need between yeah. it? So for us, top and bottom, one in the middle was sufficient. Uh, and then as you expand, always do the top and bottom and then just kind of divide it out over it as well. Um, Does that and make if you're sense? doing any builds for yeah. a particular job, we do recommend doing a, a test section in the size that you're going to work with because it does amplify up well. You can measure a, a given section and then do some math to work out, well, okay, a module that's, you know, four high by four wide is going to be X feet or X meters. Yes. Uh, you can then work out the space that you're working with. And it is worth doing that on a practice if you've not done it before because it really does hone your build technique. Um, and the sizing can be dependent on the way that you inflate your balloons and the way that you kind of add that pressure into them as well because there's nothing worse. And we have done this many years ago, built a wall and then the scale was wrong. It was yeah. too big. Yeah. And you can't just take an end off because the pattern's gone. So it, it really does it, yeah, it, it pays you to um, just put a little bit more effort in in your test runs and, yeah. um, and and mocking things up. I mean, even when we did this one, we did a very small section um, in just some plain coloured balloons just so that we make sure that all the size don't work because normally we would work in nines and sevens. This time we were working in eights and sixes, yeah. making sure that everything would fit with what we want to do. And that was it's just that sanity thing. check before you start Absolutely. going, yes, that's the scale that we're working with. That's the sizes that's going to work for us. And then we work, we try to do it um, methodically as well as we go. Uh, and we do the inflation. And the way we had it, because we had two people, we split it down that I did one size, Keith did the other size, because that's how we set our machines up. And then we then build one column. You could indeed inflate all the balloons before you start the build yeah, absolutely if we did if you did that what we would recommend is that you bag each column yeah. separately so you'd inflate the balloons put them into a bag even if you're not moving side. off site you know if we're yeah. doing this as a delivery we would inflate and bag it and number the bags one to whatever and then we know which bag to do in order for the columns as we work if we were doing it here a home base we'd still put them in bags if you're going to inflate them all because the plan that you have in your head gets lost as soon as you put everything yeah. on the floor. Yeah, as soon as you've got them and you've got us cook here, this one's got three of this colour and one of this colour or whatever, and it's just having all of the balloons that you need for that column, they go in one bag, they're easy yeah. to go. So for us, inflate one column's worth, 
then build. If there was three people here, we'd have two people inflate and one people doing the column, yeah. and it would speed it up. If you just one person, break it down. You know, yeah. do all of one size for the first column, do all the second size for the first column, and then do the build. build it. Of that it also, as well as it, it's good for your hands doing it that way yeah. because you're giving your hands a break from all the tying, um, and you're just moving on to something else. It's a little bit different. So yeah, just a little bit of a relax yeah. between it. So, um, I'm, I'm afraid we've ran out of time already. No yeah, I know, I know, we've run over by a little bit. Yes, because we work so fast. I think what we do time. is, um, I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind watching that video one more time. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go, we're going to say bye bye, and we'll see you soon. But we shall leave you. We're all right to do that again, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you guys can watch this, and we'll say bye bye, and we'll hope to see you very soon, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.